I woke up in the morning at four in the morning with this in my head. Did you? <laughs> How I loathe you for this. Well, you, that's too, just, you know, all we're trying to do is just get the facts into the hands of the American people. So when your idiot friend comes up to you and says, Hey, it's about time that the rich start paying their fair share. Nah. Raise their taxes. And take this one. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by your fair share, but uh, if you ra- read page 191 of Arguing with Idiots, you might find that the wealthiest 1% of taxpayers are carrying the load for 39% of the bill. The top 20 pay over 86% of the bill. The poorest 20 pay less than zero. The poorest 20%, have the, their tax rate is actually negative 2.9%. Oh, of course you see that, because you're knowingly omitting payroll taxes. Those target the poor! Well, you'd have to flip to page 192 which is the next page in Arguing with Idiots, to see that even when you include payroll taxes and corporate taxes, the top 20% of taxpayers still pay over 72% of the bill. Oh, well, whatever. Even if they're paying a higher percentage of the taxes, that's only because the rates in the United States are so incredibly low. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. Our tax rate is 35%. The world average in 2003 was 312 Two percent, thirty-five here, thirty-one point two elsewhere. I think our rich pay more here, but that only tells half the story. The world average has been falling ever since two thousand three. Now our rate is thirty-five percent currently. The world average is less than twenty-nine percent. Where do you think people are going to create jobs? If Obama gets his tax hike through, the U.S. will have a rate that is almost eleven points higher than the world average. Oh, really? You know what is eleven hundred points higher than the average? Gee, let me think. My cholesterol? No! Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for listening. Bye.